So I'm out here today in a place called Maps Air Museum. And we're going to take a look at some of these aircrafts and examine the idea and concept that they supposedly use liquid fuel and store them in the wings. A 747 can hold up to, they say, average about 50,000 gallons. It's almost an Olympic size swimming pool in the wings. My theory is that they're actually just using the turbines, pulling free energy, free air right into the turbine, combusting it, turning it into a gas and using the air as fuel. No liquid fuel needed except for takeoff and landing. So the general narrative is, like you said, the intake, the compression, the combustion, thrust. And I do think these older turbines used liquid fuel to some extent. I don't think the amount that they say they do or did, but I think the older models were based off of more fuel than the modern day turbine, which I believe is just pulling air in, compressing it. And I think these make a certain tone and sound that give the turbine a certain kind of bumblebee effect vibration that helps cause the lift of the plane, puts the plane into a frequency that makes it weightless for the most part. But it's taking that air in, going through this old world technology, in my opinion, that we inherited. And I think we have a free energy engine that we're using in the world right now. And everybody's being charged for fuel when they're not using it. They're just pulling the air in, combusting it. And as they combust that, as, as, it, as the air comes in and gets compressed, combusted into a free energy from air fuel. And I think that's how the modern day ones are working. And definitely staged because if turbines don't use liquid fuel, then there was no fuel to burn that day. That was all staged because those planes don't have any liquid fuel on them. And when I say no, none, I mean, maybe a little bit for takeoff and a little bit for landing. But the modern day turbine is a free energy engine left over from the old world, the technology left over from the old world, which I think what a lot of World War II was about, and who ha who was going to be allowed to have the technology, who wasn't, who was trying to keep it, because I think uh, a lot of that old world technology came out of certain places that certain people might have wanted to keep all to themselves, and other countries went to get it. That would ignite it and uh, cause a thrust. And these are the power turbines. That would power everything that went on in the front. And I, I missed the part about the com so combust the combustion the combustion chamber. It's, it's, combustion. Spread, it's spread jetting fuel and and the, the compressed air. And so then, both of those it would, it would it would combust. Okay, and that and would it causes the vortex and a thrust okay. that that powers this power turbine. It works the drive shaft. Okay, that moves everything in the front. So it's like a. And then this is the thrust that would come out the back. And then some engines had uh, afterburners where they would they would spray raw fuel into that flame and the thrust, and it would just explode, it's like almost like a ramjet, uh, like a rocket. But it, and so when the air is coming in through here, these are spinning. Huh. And are these like almost work as like tuning forks, kind of? No. Is that no, what we hear when we hear the turbine? Is that what we're hearing? Are these? I don't know. Sir. I don't know what makes the wine sound. It may have something different. That's our homework assignment for tonight. I don't know if they, these actually make the whining sound. That's a good question. I would say it probably does. And then, uh, so that's the air intake. The power turbines. Combustion. So these were used in the A4, that A4 Skyhawk right there. Uh, the uh, F-84 Thunder Street had this. The uh, F-11 Tiger used one of these. The uh, two-engine medium bomber, the uh, 100 pounds of fuel an hour. These used which, 100? Which was 16, 16, 16 gallons. If without without the afterburner. Because when you hit the afterburner, these, these things just, you know, you're just dumping raw fuel. I mean, it really sucks. Where them. would they store the fuel in the plane? Well, if you look underneath the wing, it has extra fuel tanks. Plus, they would, they would have uh, KC-135s, <coughs> and they, they would refuel in the air. The tankers, if they get out, the tankers were always close by. They would either go 
uh, across the Mekong Delta into uh, Thailand. So that, not the Delta, the Mekong River. Is that the only place they would store the fuel? What about the wings? Because I, well, I know, like yeah, the yeah, yeah, they had their fuel tanks in the fuselage and in the wings, but that was extra fuel on the, the drop tanks. A lot of people don't know that, like even like your 747 stores all of its fuel in the wings. Yeah, they do. That's a lot of, like 50,000 gallons. And the narrative that the wings store that much liquid in them, sloshing around as they're trying to maneuver, especially the uh, fighter jets and the military. I believe zero liquid fuel in those. There's no way they could do those maneuvers with that much liquid sloshing around in the wing.